Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be a Rhine clutch experience. Basically, I was playing some ranked with friends that are not as experienced. So these are, I think this is pretty much like a plat lobby. It starts off really bad. And um, one actually one of the uh, one of the supports actually gave up entirely and was like sitting in the back of the map for a second. And then I had another uh, so the other support was blaming me and, and, you know, calling me an idiot in the chat, but you won't be able to see the chat, so you don't have to worry. And the comms um, mid-game were just pretty much me, you know, calling things out, but everyone else was dead silent. So, it's, you know, you don't really need to hear my comms. Um, just know that I was making call-outs, uh, especially towards the second half of this game. I'm just going to show you guys what happens at the beginning, like the most important parts which sets up the moment where I had to clutch really hard. So yeah, so basically like right, right here is where you can kind of see how they were holding us really hard. And what we needed to do was we needed to push in all the way to the point and make them play in, a, in an area that they didn't feel as comfortable because they had a really good um, setup here at the choke. So I was trying to get everyone to be more aggressive in this moment and nobody nobody came with me so right here i was playing point again and bringing them all back here on me the ana actually powered me up at a really good time but i did get like booped into this corner a few times actually and i couldn't get out and that's why i ended up uh dying but that that was where the Ana called me an idiot and was really mad at me for not, you know, playing better. Alright, so right here is where I finally start sweating a little. <laughs> Got a nice shatter to get the game going. And we can finally turn this into a real ranked match. Thing. Showing up, like, honestly, Ramatra is just completely broken, as you can see, killing my entire team here. But the reset is actually pretty quick, so it's not a big deal. I feel like that shatter was worth it, but it's hard to say. Now we have to look for something to capitalize on because they are grouped up. And I find Baptiste blanking for whatever reason. You're gonna see me go after these single kills a lot, and I know it is a little bit risky, but Sometimes it's worth it. Once again, going after another single kill here, but getting these staggers are really important because if you can just get another stagger after the next, after the next, it stops them from being able to group up and play together as a team. I hit a lot of uh, fire strikes this match, especially those long range ones. Ooh, that was a really, really bad pin. I did not hit that. And then a really bad shatter right after, unfortunately. Like I said before, getting booped around as a Reinhardt is not fun. Getting booped or stunned or slept or trapped. But I did hit that long range fire strike. Make up for it. Now, what I'm thinking here is to get their attention, right? Sometimes 
in a moment like that, it might seem stupid to just get singled out. But if I can get their attention and stay alive just long enough for the, the team to score that final point, I feel like that's that makes it worth it. Alright, so right here I was actually calling out to the Reaper to stay behind me and to not go up that far. Um, but I, he wasn't actually in the chat, that guy. He was the only one that, or he was one of the ones that couldn't hear me. So, unfortunately, he dies right away and then they put, they get very aggressive off that and then they push and they take the point right away. I definitely am playing SIG, obviously, but I'm a pretty decent SIG, and I probably could have, like, we probably could have held with the SIG right there, but um, I did make the switch back to Reinhardt right away because Reinhardt, I have a little bit more control over getting kills, while SIG is a little bit more passive. You're gonna see a really nice sigil right here, but unfortunately nobody capitalizes on it. Unfortunate. This is where I obviously made the switch back to Rhine. Another pretty bad uh, charge there. I was thinking maybe I could take the tank or someone off the map, and that would be a good, you know, sacrifice in that moment. But it didn't. It ended up being really bad because they pushed really hard off of it, and they got pretty far. Arissa countering my bolt right there. If they're playing your counter and you're still doing pretty good, that means you're doing something right for sure. If they have to play the counter just to get some sort of uh, an edge on you. It's really the worst feeling when they break your shield that quick, honestly. Attempting to capitalize on the sleep, I did end up throwing my life away, which was really, really bad. And then we ended up losing right after that, so I'll skip ahead. Here we go. I was trying to get the point right away, because you don't want to let them hold this choke. That was like the perfect pin. And another kill too. Notice how as soon as I saw she was getting support, I backed up. Another nice fire strike there. I don't honestly don't even know how much damage these fire strikes are doing, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's enough. I, don't, I guess it's not a lot. It is enough though. How did I not pin the tank in that moment? I'm not sure. But whatever happened, I'll take it.
Notice how I use my shatter as soon as I get it. Because if I can use it properly, I'm already a quarter of the way to the next shatter after using that. So you you do, you definitely want to like use shatters as quick as you can use them. Holding it is nice for like helping your teammates in making some combos happen, but if you can use it effectively, you might as well use it on like one or two people instead of just holding on to it. I really wanted to get that mercy there. I did not get her, which is unfortunate, but I was close. As soon as I heard him pop his ult, I wanted to block as much of his ult as I could. That shatter was more for the uh, the squishy than it was for the tank. So that whole round was actually all entirely in overtime, which means someone on our team had to be touching point like the entire time that we were pushing that, um, which is why it was so amazing. But at the same time, I do have to like, you know, thank my teammates for staying on point because I was nowhere near it. So now in order to win the match, we have to hold them out, even though they have a lot more time to, to get that full push they have three minutes and 45 seconds and we only had one minute um, compared to them I was telling my teammates to stay behind me this time and thank god they listened or you know maybe he was playing Torgorn and that was what we really needed <laughs> instead of the uh, the Reaper I'm going to feel a lot of pressure here because they know that I'm an issue to deal with. So when I know the eyes are on me and that a lot of attention is on me, it's really good to, you know, pull them away from your teammates sometimes. Like right there, when I went on the left side, the other tank chased me over there and she or they probably could have just taken out my junk rat on the right side instead but they were just very focused on me and that's what ended up working when my shield breaks sometimes just going back and forth and being a hard target to hit is all you can really do When I get powered up here, you know, you kind of feel like you have to do something with it. So I was pretty aggressive and it ends up working out. I might not have needed to waste my shatter here, but it's hard for me to resist. A little bit of a waste on the shatter, but. Knowing when to back up is very important. Obviously we were winning, but we got we got right back into our position that I talked about at the beginning. I even told them, you know, right here is where we want to be, and I put a little spray on the wall there to show my teammates where to, where to go. They popped a bunch of ults to take that point, but we did really good for quite a long time, and now they only have a minute. They only have a minute, so we're doing pretty, pretty well. It's looking good.
That was a really nice tire there by my friend. By Hunter. Well done, man. I, I gotta applaud you for that. I don't know what our Ana is doing in this moment here. Our Ana was way, way out of position. I tried my best to help them, but didn't matter. And now we just have to do our best to stay strong. Taking out that tire right there was huge. That gives us a chance. And I almost took the Orisa off the map there. If I took the Orisa off the map there, that would have been a dub. But it ends up working out because taking their attention away, that strategy actually works really, really well when they're so focused on you that they can't rely on what's important or they can't focus on what's important and there it is no one was on point and we ended up winning if you guys enjoyed this video please drop me a like and uh, hopefully this helped give a little insight on some Reinhardt behavior and Reinhardt strategy uh, if not I hope you enjoyed anyway but uh, yeah have a good one